have a new head torch in for testing. It's the HR30 from Jetbeam, and they sent this in to me for testing. What makes this interesting is you have three different types of battery that you can use with this head torch, including the newer 2700 cells. The one that's included is an 18650. Quick look at the spec on the back of the box. We have five power levels as well as a red LED. We have two red LEDs for this. User manual is included with your warranty. And you also have the USB type C charging cable. This is a bit thicker than the normal one, but it's nice to see that because the port is much more durable and there's a stainless steel clip and two spare O-rings included as well. I've put the dimensions and weights on the screen for you. Build quality on this feels very good indeed. A very chunky, solid feeling. The weight is about 155 grams with everything included head strap and battery. So it's about average for a head torch. Now the you'll see the indents on the uh, body casing and that prevents it from moving around. So it requires a fair bit of pressure to push it down, but less pressure when you pull it up. It's definitely not going to move by accident, this uh, head torch, very secure mechanism on that. So once you set the position, it stays there unless you actually put some force on it to change it. And you see the end cap here will take that off and that's where the type C port is. There are uh, rubber seal on that as well, the O-ring. Really glad that they've included that because it's about time we started to see more type C ports. And this is the included cell. You can see the spring on the cap. Just a 18650, 2600 milliamp hours. We'll do a test on that just to see what the actual capacity is. And you get a plastic spacer. That's because it accepts the uh, 2700 batteries as well. Um, it doesn't fit the new Nightcore 21700 that I tested. That's a bit too big. So you'll need to stick to the 2700 cells if you can get a hold of them. Decent fit once the spring's in place. Now you can take it out of the uh, cage that's included, but it does require quite a bit of time to do that. The attachment is uh, fairly strong, although it's flexible. You'll see the uh, tab, which prevents it from moving around. So if you're going to be using this as uh, a torch outside of the cradle, then you'll probably find it's going to be a bit of a hassle, to be honest. But the head strap is good quality, uh, quite a nice thick uh, bands on this. So once you've got it on your head, it feels quite comfortable. There's really no issues in that regard. And I'm fairly happy with the quality on this as well. I'll just show you with the stainless steel clip. You've two positions on this. Like I said, um, good quality on the torch and the clip is very strong, but it does take a while to take it out. So that's something to bear in mind. That's one of the disadvantages with this, but you can use it like this if you want, just to attach it to a backpack or a jacket. You are very simple. The single press gives you the battery level, a long press on and off, and then press again to cycle through the power levels. And it has a mode memory for all of those power settings, including the red LEDs. Simple UI. The only downside to that is you don't have instant access to turbo or the lowest output. And I'll show you the battery level indicator. So it goes from the single flashes on the main LED to alternating flashes red and white down to the red. And that gives you a pretty good idea of what your battery level is. And you should be able to see that without any problems when it's on your head. Just showing you the user manual just for reference. So you can pause that and have a look through in case I've missed anything. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Um, couple of shots outside to show you what it looks like. No issues with comfort on this. I'm pretty happy with the build quality and the comfort with this. The magnet is strong enough to hold it on its own, but with the strap attached, it's a bit too heavy for it. So they could maybe have made that a bit stronger on the magnet. And this is the charging speed getting up to around 1.3 amps, which is really good. You do get this slightly strange flashing on the red LEDs. You see the green around the port. So I perhaps would have changed that. There's no real need to have them flashing around. Uh, battery capacity, pretty close to the quoted level. So we're going to start off with the beam shots outside. You can see there's a slight green tint to this compared to some torches that I've looked at. And we move up through the power levels from 400 up to the 950, the top output. So it's a decent bit of range and spread on this. It's a mixed pattern. And I'll compare it to the H1R Nova, the neutral white one. So we'll run through a few more beam shots and I'll come back at the end with a couple of thoughts.
I'll start off with the weaker points on the HR30. I would have preferred the shortcuts to the turbo and eco modes and also maybe made the switch a bit larger, be easier to find if you have gloves on, as well as beef up the magnet a little bit. It does take a while to take it out from the enclosure or housing. So if you're someone that uses a head torch for dual purpose, you might find that a bit on the slow side that you could just grab it with the headband attached and use it like that, no problems, but good power spacing the UI is very simple you have three choices of batteries which is unusual and I'm glad they included the type C USB port it's much more durable and you get much better charging speeds as well uh, I was getting just over 1.3 amps in testing so you get fairly quick recharge on this good build quality and I'm pretty happy enough with it the tint might not be to everyone's taste it's slightly on the uh, neutral side but it does have a green shift to it there can sometimes be a bit of a yellow shift in the middle although using it after a while it really didn't bother me at all so thanks for watching the video hope that was of some use to you if you were looking at this particular model and i'll see you soon